I don't really know how to film this video. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am a little sleepy and the sun is going down right now so I feel really really stressed because I usually try to film my videos when the sun is still out and about so you guys have good lighting. So I'm sorry if this video turns out to be like kind of garbage but I'm doing my best. I wanted to come and make a little like celebration video for you guys. I don't really know how this is gonna go but I wanted to do a special post for when I hit 50k on YouTube which we did so thank you guys so much. Welcome everyone who's new to the family. I really, really, really appreciate everyone who has subbed in the past, like especially a few months, this channel started growing really, really fast. But I wanted to come and like do something new to like celebrate and be able to make a post about because you know, content is life. We always gotta be making that content, you know? So I wanted to come and share with you guys something new that I've been doing recently, which is crocheting. I recently learned how to crochet in Hawaii and it was kind of crazy. I'm not very good at it at all. I've only ever made one thing, which is a ball and it's not very good but I bought yarn the other day and I saw the cutest design online by Peter Chan I think is how you say the name I will link the pattern down below I bought it off of Etsy so I can't like share it with you guys you guys gotta go buy it it's a super cute pattern for this bunny that I wanted to make and I was super uncreative and just bought like the exact same colors but I actually ran to Walmart last night to get this fluffy yarn so that I would be able to make this I wanted to do some crocheting with you guys because I finally figured out how to do it kind of I'm super unexpected like I said, I only learned how to crochet like a few days ago and I'm still not very good at it But I want to start this with you guys for the celebration of 50k and hopefully I'll be able to make more things this summer I've just been like kind of busy. I have my laptop with me with so many stickers on it Including the GG Tiffany sticker that you can buy on my Etsy and we are going to pull up this pattern I'm trying to figure out how to do it and I don't really know how so we're gonna start with the head which is just it looks like a simple circle sphere guy so i'm gonna take the blue sorry for being super unoriginal but we're just gonna chat about like youtube and stuff while making this guy i haven't made a vlog in a minute that wasn't focused around like one project which you know this is still focused where are my scissors bro Come on. Okay. Ooh. So we're just here to chat today. Let's start with the head. I'm really bad at like tension and stuff, so I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, we're gonna do six into the circle. One, two, three, four, OMG, five, and six. Okay. Um, I haven't really had like a chance to chat with you guys just because it's been really weird this summer. I had something happen involving someone famous that I think I will We'll talk about in a different video although honestly I really need to talk about it because it broke my heart and I don't want to bring it up in this video because I f it's like a long story but TLDR I met someone that's like my number one and it just like was not the ideal experience so it's fine I could start crying like thinking about it so I'm not gonna try to think about it because it's a celebration video we're trying to have a good time but yeah that happened and so life's just been crazy you know what am I sometimes when I'm crocheting one two three four five six i just like straight up don't know what i'm looking at do, 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 do. but yeah we're just gonna have like a chit chat while making this bunny because i think that would be cute and that's a type of video i would watch you know i've been a bit burnt out on youtube i feel like this happens a lot when summer happens because i'm not doing as much work that can be filmed it's kind of hard for me to film at home because i don't have the best space to film my room is quite small to be making art so i usually do it downstairs but then downstairs is where you know people live so i can't really film there which is why i try not to have my whoa i try not to have my quality of videos drop during the summer but it always inevitably happens and so that like you know breaks my heart a little bit it makes me feel bad because i feel really guilty when i'm not productive which is part of being a workaholic which i know is not the best and i try not to feel bad about it but we did just hit 50k so i really want to like put out the best videos possible for you guys but i'm sorry i just like don't have too many things to film right now so please be patient until school starts again but i'm super thankful for 50k love to hear that a lawnmower is going off outside i just want to talk to you guys about like what 50k means to me because honestly when i started youtube i like did not think 
that I was gonna hit 50k like ever honestly that was like my dream number where I felt like I could start being taken seriously just for myself personally I'm very like motivated by numbers which is why I think I tried so hard in like high school to get perfect grades always thinking about 50k and then I hit 30 really fast I don't know how that happened or I think I hit 20 really fast and then I just like didn't think people would ever start watching my videos as much but I don't know, you guys are so surprising and now there's so many people watching and I'm so thankful for that. I also recently did an interview with Adobe. If you guys haven't seen, some of you have, this is so funny. I love that like you guys will message me on Instagram super casually. Cause like, you know, it is casual. I'm not saying like you shouldn't. I'm just saying I love that like we have that relationship and we're able to do that. Some people send me like hamster videos they think I'll like. Some people just like message me things that they think I'll like. But a couple of you have actually seen my face on the Adobe ad and don't don't worry, I do know that that's me. I do know that Adobe is using my face. <laughs> I actually did an interview with them back in May and it was super fun, but it was also super stressful because I did it during finals week. So it was super difficult to keep planned and stuff. It was so fun. Basically what it was, was it was a, um, what's it called? It was a campaign that they did and they recruited me, which was so amazing. When I got the email from Adobe, I was like, stop not not adobe messaging me like i i cannot handle that please it was the most amazing experience i felt so famous for like a day you know i was on set we were filming it was so cool and i was like oh my god they like took my lunch and breakfast order and like got food for me and it was all it was all so cool and glamorous and I was like oh my god so we filmed a little segment for their side hustle campaign where like to kind of promote Adobe products for your side hustle which I do be doing you know I use a lot of Adobe for like a lot of my drawing a lot of my schoolwork a lot of everything and you know like if you do art at all everyone uses Adobe like Adobe Illustrator literally a whole class on it at school just for us to be fluent in Adobe Illustrator so much. So I was like, so amazed. I was like, this is literally the dream. I cannot believe that this is happening. And so we did it. It's up, it's live. I will link it down below for you guys. I just talked about it on Instagram the other day, but if you guys wanna go check it out, like that'd be fun. There's no like AdSense on it for me or anything, like no revenue. I just wanna share this with you guys. But also, you know, I don't think Adobe needs the promotion from me, but if any of the 50,000 of you out there want to start using Adobe, feel free to check it out. It was so fun. There's a little segment on it about me. There's a whole little video and it's so amazing. I was scared going on set because I was like, I'm very good with filming myself, but I think I'm very bad with being filmed and not having control of the footage. So I was really scared that I was just doing like the worst job like I am right now with my needle slipping out. Um, but I was so scared I was gonna have like the most bland footage because I didn't know what I was doing. I've obviously never been on set before, LOL. Like when would I have ever had the chance to be on set? It was all just like a new experience. It was literally so amazing though. I considered vlogging it, but then I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna subject the crew to do that um because that would be really weird and i'm also really bad at vlogging with like people that i know even so why on earth would i suddenly be able to vlog with like people that i don't know you know what i mean also yes i am using an earring as a stitch marker because it is simply just like the easiest thing for me to use i do have those little plastic things but like my nails are really long right now it's like honestly just really annoying to be using that wait i need to mark that out I've had like stitch markers fall out before and it stressed me out so much because I was like, I don't even know how to, I barely know how to count stitches. Like, please don't do this to me right now. But yeah, so thank you all for the concern. If you like saw my face on the like the Adobe website or wherever you saw it, didn't realize that I did something. Super happy about it. I posted it everywhere. I was like, everyone look, family look. I never advertised my YouTube to my family, but I did, you know? And that was super cool. So it happened around like, like the milestone of 50K. So I was just like, I was I was living it up, you know. And so I really want to say thank you all to everyone. I'm also currently doing a 10k giveaway on my Instagram if you guys want to check that out. I'll link my Instagram down below. It's also right here. They're kind of unrelated, but they happen around the same time. I do want to do something special for 50k, but right now I don't have the time, so making a bunny is all we've got today, but 
that is okay, you know? I'm so glad that so far this pattern has been super easy because I only know how to do like increases and decreases outside of just like single stitches or whatever that's called. So, so far it's been like, all right, you know? I'm like trying to pull the, the magic ring or whatever, the magic circle. It's coming out like this so far. So it's looking good. I'm definitely not gonna be able to make the whole thing on camera, but like I'll be doing my best today, so. We'll see what we can get to. This pattern is so cute though. So I'm I'm so excited to have like learned or am learning how to do something new so that I am super motivated to like make a bunch of new crafts now because it's been a while since I've learned something super new. I've always known how to sew. So even when I got into the sewing machine, I kind of knew what I was doing. You know, there's not many things left for me to explore sometimes that I want to. I found that crocheting is so satisfying because, whoa, except for when your needle slips out, which somehow it always does when I'm in the middle of a sentence, I'm trying to say something. Okay, it's like really satisfying because it's, or so far the patterns I've been looking at have been really simple. So I haven't, had too much of a problem. The one thing though is that I lose track so easily and I don't know how. I always forget what number I'm on even when I'm saying it in my head like because I love watching whoa I love watching tv and stuff when I'm crocheting or like doing any art because it's pretty mindless you know. I'll be saying it out loud in my head and I literally just forget like what number I'm on all the time. But yeah so maybe I can start doing crocheting for some school projects next year. I don't know, I go back to school in September, so have quite a while. It's currently July when I'm filming this and I'm also going on trips soon, so I'm trying to bulk film videos, but I'm running out of things to film, so I don't really know. I will be back once this head is done because this is taking me forever, LOL. Hello, oh my God. So here it is, the head. This took me like an hour and it's shaped so weirdly because i guess when i took in the magic circle i didn't like do the first few stitches tight enough so i got this little like peach top part um i don't know why it's lumpy in some areas it's probably because my stitches are super inconsistent like if you look at the bottom because i started doing it after i stuffed it the stitches are so loose so like i, I literally don't want to talk about it i've just been rolling it in hopes of like dispersing the stuffing in it well enough which is also not very well done so if i like as you can see it's like kind of lopsided now but i can i can shape it to be the right shape but we're gonna try to put the face on it which i don't really know how to do that but i picked out some colors oh also i just happened to have this heart box on my bed from winter session um when i did those baby heart monitors if you remember seeing that i made i talked about it in my last video if you guys didn't see it I have a bunch of stuff in here from there and I bought a bunch of like cute buttons. So we have like these star buttons, which I'm thinking about using. I also have these normal buttons, but like why would we use normal buttons when we have star buttons, you know? Among some other various things in there. But I think like the star buttons are the move, right? Cause that would be literally so cute for the cheeks. Maybe we use this dark brown embroidery for the rest of it. I think that's the move personally. So let's try to do that. I just realized I don't even have a normal needle on me. So I have to go downstairs to find one, which is really obnoxious because I don't want to go downstairs, but I guess I have to, so yeah. Also, like I said, it is starting to get dark in here. So I have some little night lights I'm gonna be using. This one's super cool. Cause it like, can you see that? It like folds down and it still works. So. If I hit the, is it hit the top? If I hit the top, whoa, you can like adjust the settings, but you can like have it stand somewhere or you can stretch it out. And then it's like a really tall lantern. So I have this sitting like right here next to me because this is so helpful. And this is also the sponsor of today's video. I've actually been loving these little lights because they are so, so cute. This is from a brand called Thunlit Lamps and I just wanted to come and like share it with you guys. So they also sent me this super cute little unicorn light, which I love. It's like been in my room a long time and I'm going to put him in the background because like, wow. I wish my room didn't get so dark so quickly, but I guess like the sun is on my friend today because it's literally 4.55 PM and it's already getting dark. I'm also gonna go turn on the other light in my room. I don't know if that made like a difference literally at all or not. We have some little lighting situations going on. So this guy's super cute. 
Um, if you guys want to go check out Thunder Lamp, definitely do. I will also link them in the description box along with everything else that I've been linking. But thank you guys so much for sending me these. They're so, so cute. And you will also see them in an upcoming desk tour that I am filming in. But this one's like especially my favorite. Like it's just so nice and it's so cute. So yeah, this will be sitting down here now with me as I make stuff in my really weird setup that's going right now, if I'll show you. This is currently the super messy setup that we have going on. We have like yarn, all different kinds of yarn, the buttons, this lamp sitting on my laptop right now. We have just so many things going on. And then of course we have her. Oh, and she's changing colors. She does do, she do be doing that as well. We're gonna keep going now. So now I got my little baggie. My aunt gave me this when she was teaching how to crochet and it's so cute. Let's see, do I have needle? Okay, this is like a really large one. I think this is what I wanna use. I'm not really sure. Where did the head go? Here's the head and then here's the brown thread. So I'm going to just take some, I don't think I need this much like at all. One of the things I love about crochet is that like you don't have to measure things before you start. You can just like have the ball of yarn as you're going. I hate having to measure things. I don't really know how to go about doing this, but they do have a little pattern. So I'm just gonna like eyeball it though, honestly, because my stitches did not come out nearly as neat as how they're supposed to be. So this looks right to me. We're just like going for it. I just want her to have eyes already. I don't really know what to do like with the end. Should I just leave it inside? And and just like glue it at the end. I think that's the plan, right? So I'm just gonna go over this a bunch of times. Let's count, that's two. Okay, maybe around like five. So we're actually gonna do six, um, but we're gonna thread the needle to the other side now and just eyeball it yet again, because I don't think if I were to count them, it would come out as well as I plan it to, which seems to always happen. Nothing ever comes out the way I planned it to. That looks good to me. Just going all the way across. Whoop. Now we're gonna do it again. Okay, so, oh my gosh, I lost my needle. Please tell me, how does this happen? Where did it literally go? Have to rethread this giant needle real quick. Here's what we have upside down for one of the eyes. So we're just doing the other one over here because that looks about far enough. So we're gonna do six times. That is once, two. This is honestly like super simple if you've ever done sewing before. Um, this might be a little advanced if you haven't. Since I've like done so many things before, I feel like it is not as hard as it could be since I'm experienced in everything else. Okay, so five, right? Was I, I think I was counting properly while I was talking, but that looks about right. And we're just gonna like, we're just gonna do this. So I've seen people do this before when sewing, but I'm always a little skeptical of it, but I currently don't have the means to be fastening it off. So I'm just gonna secure like these two ends with glue later, LOL cut that off. There are the eyes and it looks pretty cute. So now let's get the snoot on there. And I was going to use this pink, but since I'm going to be using yellow buttons, I think we should use a different color. So should he have a matching yellow snoot? I think perhaps mayhaps, yes. Let's do it. This is like really nice gold thread that I actually used for a giant high school project at the time. But I am a bit worried about this thread, however, because it is super slippery. As you can see, like it doesn't even wanna go in the needle um, because it's really silky. Oh my God. I'm gonna have to like really secure this one somehow. Don't really know how. I'm thinking maybe I can tie like a big fat knot at this end and then force it into a little sphere. So I'm just gonna tie like a really messy knot so it doesn't come undone. That would be bad because then a snoot would be loose. So I just did that like a bajillion times and it's super messy and ugly, which is good because that's what we wanted. So I'm going to try to force it in, but let's put it like, I am still somewhat following the pattern to an extent. Low key, like this is not even the center. Like this is the center. So yeah, we're gonna do that. The thread literally fell off my needle because it is so slippery. Love that for me. Back on please. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god. Do you see how like slippery it is? This hole for the needle is literally huge and this thread is still giving me a hard time. Okay, the equally as hard part is getting this big fat knot in there. But I think this will work. Like in theory, 
if I just push this in, there will be a hole, there will be a knot on the inside, right? Does that make sense? It makes sense to me. So I really hope it makes sense to everyone else, but if it doesn't, I guess it doesn't matter. Go in threads, oh my God. So I'm gonna do that. I don't know if that's right, but we're just gonna see. Yes, I should have marked this out with pins like the pattern suggests, but did I? No, so it's a little too late for that. Now we just have to go downwards and somehow poke a hole outside of these stitches that should not be getting poked at but i already did it you know it would have made more sense to start with the nose since it's in the center but whatever okay so now we've done that yay now he's got snoot oh my gosh that's cute okay i'm very happy with that we gotta do the knot thing again somehow don't really know what to do oh my god what if we give her whiskers that'd be so oh wait we have to sew on the stars so that's okay so let's go ahead and pop one of these guys off that was so satisfying oh, gee. oh my gosh there's gonna be a little star bunny that is so cute okay so let's get this over here. Oh my god, so annoying. Do 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 do. We gotta rethread him, please. I did not consider this. That's fine. I just have to do something really annoying. Wait, does this even fit? Or is this still too big? Oh, it does fit. Amazing. Okay, okay, okay. Goodbye, fat needle. Literally holding the threads together right after I cut them so that they never- Literally holding the threads together right after I connect them so that they never move so I can thread it. Okay, 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 okay. So let's get it through here. Shwing, shwing. And let's sew him on. So I think we're gonna do this twice and pull this tight. The needle wanted to come out there, so we're gonna just let it come out there. Now we need another one. Now we need another one. So believe it or not, I do have more. Oh, I got these from like a local craft store. Surprisingly not Amazon. I feel like every time someone asks me where I got something from, it's almost always Amazon, but not today. So we got the needle through and boop. I hope this is even, but if it's not, we can redo this part. So that is okay. It's like pretty much even. So we're gonna stick the needle out here. I still don't really know how I should tie this off. It's like pretty much even. One do be a little bit higher, but like, I think it's good enough. It's so cute. Oh my God. I did not think I was gonna be making something blue and yellow. So glad that worked out because I literally could not make the cheek thing. How do I tie this off? Can't really do what I did last time. Let's go ahead and tie a really fat knot. I don't think this is how you should be doing these things. So definitely look up actual tutorials on how to make crochet things. If you're looking for advice, please don't use me as an example. I simply just make my own rules and sometimes it works out, but I'm sure there's better, more efficient ways. Or who knows, maybe this is the literal way and like common sense is just really working out. But we gotta re-thread this guy now, which is nearly impossible. I guess we can use the fat one now. We can use the fat one. So please. All of the different threads get in there. And now we're just going to, we're gonna just force this knot into the, to the thing. So do you see the knot just like sitting there? Oh wait, did it work though? I think it worked. I think I'm just going to secure it with super glue as well after. So I think it worked and oh, so cute. Star baby. Oh my God. I love you. Hello. Let's make your ears. This thing is literally a mess and I have no idea what I'm looking at most of the time. If you look at the top here, you can kind of see some semblance of four stitches. Doing my best here. We gotta do four more single crochets. So try to jam it in there. And I realized that if you do it in one swoop, you don't keep going back and forth. The fur will like form these stitches and it'll be a little bit easier to see them. So I try to just do these as quick as possible with as little back and forth as possible. And I do just try to feel for them, which is what everyone online says that you should be doing so i think i'm doing it and then we're going to take the other color we still have some tails flying around so it's like a bit difficult to tell Ta-da! yay so now we have to find the next stitch like that the blue and then we start on the blue again so everything is kind of working out oh that was supposed to be an increase oh well okay managed to finish both ears i have to cut off whatever the situation is that's going on here so i'm trying to like figure it out i kind of like messed up on this ear but i think it's fine honestly i'm gonna tuck in everything except for the tail here is the other ear which oh shoot I just like unraveled some of it. Did I not fasten off this one? So the tops of the ears are fluffy, which is like really, really cute, but they look a little bit strange because my fluff is really weird and I need to comb it out a bit. But here are the two ears and they're very short, but in context of this very small bunny, they're quite tall. I'm running into a problem with the body 
which I have right here. Because as you can see, like it's not matching up to the head very well. So let's go ahead and stuff it. Honestly, just gonna like throw these excess yarns in there. So the legs are getting stuffed. The legs are so small. Let's put a little bit of stuffing in there though. Just so it's like thoroughly stuffed. I think I will comb out the fur on the body once I actually attach it so that it's easier to grip. OMG, so cute. I still feel like the stomach is too fluffy though, so. Okay, honestly, I'm really scared to do this, but like because it's so misaligned, I think I'm gonna just cut one of these loops because I can't find. And so, wish me luck. I don't know the consequences of what I just did, but I'm gonna try. This is so dangerous. I think that's good. I think I'm gonna settle with that. So we're just gonna stuff all of these in here because like I don't wanna waste yarn, honestly. We're just gonna do our best. <laughs> shove all this in here. I feel like low-key, if I get all of this in here, this will be enough to stuff the body. But yeah, I don't know how to sew things on um, in terms of like how to properly do it with crochet, but I do know how to sew, so I think I can figure that out. But I have this guy. Now we gotta make the arms, so let's go ahead and do that but like they're really small. So I will just come back once that is done. But I did alter this pattern quite a bit. So I'm surprised that I'm able to do that, but I'm going to try to pick out these fluffs. I did say I was gonna do it on the body, but then I thought about how much I'd have to be like moving it around on the body. I don't really wanna do that. So we're just gonna try to brush out some of the furs. I used to do this when I bought stuffed animals because they like the fur would always get caught in the seams. Pull it out to get it maximum fluffy. So that is what I'm doing right now. And it do be working. So I think it'll just get pulled out more as I like handle this trying to sew it onto the body. So it is happening. Also on the pattern, it says to trim the fluffs, which I don't know if I should do or not, um, but I'll probably do like a little bit because this is a bit out of hand, it's like super fluffy. But I'm scared also if I trim the fluff too much, it'll just totally reveal all of the mistakes that I've made, you know what I mean? So I also have the two ears and these are not fluffed out at all. Like you can see on the top that you can actually see some of the stitches still. So obviously when I'm like crocheting this, it's ideal to have it not be fluffed out, but now that I'm done crocheting it, it's ideal to have it fluffed out. So it is a bit difficult to do it in some areas though. All right, that's pretty, Fluff. Maybe I'll just leave it like this because it is really like satisfying to touch and stuff. It feels so soft. It literally feels like my hamsters. So I love that. I was like touching it while I was at Walmart yesterday and I was just like, wow, this is the one of the softest things I've ever felt. And then I got really confused about what it's made out of because it literally feels just like fish. It makes me a little nervous. And by fish, I mean fish the hamster, not a real fish because that would be strange. Okay. So I'm gonna get an arm done. So let's just like do that really fast. Like how long could it possibly do an arm, you know? So let's see, arm pattern. This is the last thing I have to do, I think. Arm, 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 arm. Magic circle, obviously. And then I get my hook that I've lost again. Uh, and then I swoop, and then I go. The arm is so small, but honestly, nothing could be more difficult than making anything literally anything at all with that that fluffy yarn it is so difficult you know i always heard everyone say how easy crocheting is and i always was kind of irritated by that because i didn't know how to crochet but now that i do i will say it's a lot easier than i expected because i've learned how to knit before and that was really difficult i did however learn when i was like really young i was i think like six or eight when i learned how to knit so that's probably why i thought it was so difficult but i have no interest in learning how to knit currently so maybe if I picked up knitting again now, like I wouldn't think it's super hard, but I always thought crocheting must be so complicated, but so far, as long as everything's increases and decreases, I can most definitely handle that. So that is the level at which I am at right. So small, look how tiny this guy is. I've seen people crochet and use like super big fluffy yarn to make like giant stuffed animals and it looks so cute and I really want to do that once I start getting better at crocheting. I wish I could do a bigger celebration, but right now I simply cannot. Hopefully if one day we hit 100K, which would actually be insane, I will do like a big, big celebration for that. I honestly don't think that'll ever happen. I have my hopes up and then this is the last stitch. 
the last body part and I'm officially done. Oh my God. Here is a little arm. I'm going to one tail, make sure the magic circle is tight. Is that what's called? The magic circle, magic ring, or am I like making that up? Let's go ahead and attach all of these body parts and then we will be done with this little guy. And I am so excited. Woo! Now I have finished all of the body parts. We have two little arms. Um, We have the little body. Doot, 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 doot. Here it is the back legs and then we have one two little ears and the cute head with the cutest little face oh my god let's see how do we attach these guys now okay so we are officially in the zone for trying to figure out how to get these body parts together i feel like this is pretty self-explanatory are there even instructions on this there are not instructions on this i am going to just wing it let's see i don't know if like any of these were necessary there's no tail on this one that looks a about right to me. Let's get a little bit of stuffing in this before we, just to make sure it's like stuffed. I can't really jam my fingers in here because my nails. So I'm gonna do that. And then we're gonna get some stuffing in there. I have realized one thing with amigurumi is that, or just crocheting in general, I don't really know what classifies as amigurumi and what classifies as just normal crochet. But if you don't thoroughly stuff your things, they lose their shape super duper easily. So I wanna make sure that I don't do that, but I'm just gonna hook this into, we're just gonna kind of like eyeball everything, which has been the common thread. So I'm just gonna hold this onto the body where I want it. And then we're gonna try to stitch it on. I'm gonna try to go around the entire body first with like some loose stitches just to try and get everything where I want it first in case I want to move it. Maybe I'll go through both loops so that it's not as wobbly because I feel like that could happen. We're really just winging it. I can barely like see where I'm sewing, but we're just trying in our best today. This fluffy part is really difficult to get through, but I think we're getting there. I'm so glad that yarn is like super thick because thread is not and it can snap if you pull too hard, but I'm really not, oh God, ah, ah, no. I'm really glad that I don't have to be afraid to pull too hard because that's what I'm afraid of when I sew, but sometimes you really gotta like make sure something's on there. So I'm really glad I have the ability to do that here. Have we done it? Is it secure? I think it is. Oh, I was probably supposed to do the arms first as well, lol. We'll just do them right now. So I'm not gonna stuff the arms because they are so small. So we are just going to shove these threads in here. Take this little acorn of an arm. I'm just gonna go through both sides like this and secure these arms on. Got one arm on there, but as you can see, there's like a bunch of fur that's just like stuck in between the stitches right here. I'm actually gonna use the other needle. This is a bit thinner. And just like kind of pick those out so that it can be as full fluffy capacity. It's not reaching as full potential right now. I'm gonna go through and just like pick some of these out. Pretty easy to spot them if you just like comb through. We have one arm on. He's looking a little strange, you know, because he doesn't have his ears, but still very cute. I don't don't know if he'll need a haircut. I feel like he looks, so we have one arm on. As you can see, my stitchings are not the best, but we trying out here and I don't know if he'll need a haircut. It looks okay so far, but let's go ahead and get the other arm on there. Oh my God, literally so cute. Stop it, oh my God. Okay, so we're gonna stuff the ears a little bit. However much these ears need, I don't know how much stuffing it'll be able to handle. Jam it in there a little bit. I feel like if you stuff things enough, they'll stand up better. So like for things like ears and stuff, I like to make sure they've got enough in there so that they can like maintain their shape. So far, the stitching on body parts thing has been pretty self-explanatory, which is kind of what I expected. So it really like didn't need to be included in the instructions, but I thought maybe like, I don't know, there's specific ways you should do it for crochet or whatever. So now we're going to stitch them onto him. Ah! So cute, what a little guy. Also, sorry if my hair keeps getting in the frame. There's not much I can do about it. <laughs> Thread this needle. So this ear should go on this side, I think. We're just going to stitch it on, which is again, quite self-explanatory, right? This part with the white is a bit difficult, but I think we're just gonna do the same thing. I don't think it'll be like too affected by a couple of stitches. Okay, so baby. So this is the last thread. We're going to cut it off and little guy. This is the bunny we made. He came out so fluffy, but I'm about to go and take like some pics and post on IG for a cute little celebration. There was a tail in the instructions, but honestly, like 
I'm not feeling the tail right now. I'm just not feeling it. So we're gonna leave them like this. Maybe one day I'll get around to making the tail um, out of the fluffy yarn, but I'm just like, I don't know. So here he is. Oh my God, literally so cute. I'm about to go and take some pics and post it so I can have a little 50,000 followers celebration. But I am actually like so proud of how this came out considering first of all, really small. I was kind of expecting it to be like this big, honestly, which can be changed with like the size of the yarn. I think this was like much harder because it was smaller. So I'm really happy with how it came out. I think it came out super cute. So if you guys want to see better pics, it will all be on my Instagram. But this is just like to say thank you for 50K or I guess like a little celebration post i guess i don't really i don't know i wanted like do something new for 50k so i really appreciate you guys all so much for watching i wish i could give each and every one of you <laughs> one of these bunnies that would be like my dream because honestly if i could i would but i can't so alas but thank you guys so much for following and for watching for subscribing and for doing all of the nice things i cannot believe we're at 50k that's literally impossible and i just appreciate you guys all so so much i can't say it enough thank you thank you maybe at 100k we'll do a huge celebration but for now here's our baby this is our baby we all share custody of our sweet baby leave names for him in the comments below otherwise he will just be named star bunny star bun i don't know until further notice but we will be posting pics on ig so yeah but thank you guys so much for following again i cannot describe how thankful i am for 50,000 of you that's literally amazing and it makes me so happy i'm trying to like not overreact about it all the time so also check out thunlit lamps thank you for lighting this entire video i could not have made this without the light support of the sky because honestly the sun be setting and i don't know why because it's not even it's literally 6 50 right now and it's in the middle of summer so thank you guys so much for watching and also i just want to show you my minecraft bee that i also have i did not make him he's not in any way affiliated with this video other than that he happened to be on my bed thank you guys so much for watching for hanging out with me i will see you guys in the next one thank you all so much for 50k a hug for each of you and i will see you guys in my next video stay hydrated take a nap and i will see you when i see you bye